Please welcome the very funny Kurt Brownler. Thank you, thank you. Uh, guys, I haven't been on Instagram today. Does anybody know if the sunset? <laughs> or if anybody ate any food? I just like to keep in touch. Uh, I went into a store just down the street recently. When I walked in, the sales lady just went, it's good to see you. I was like, I don't know how to deal with this information at all. (laughs) So I just did the only thing I thought was appropriate, and I just said, it's been too long, and I kissed her on the mouth. I, uh, I recently just moved to L.A., and so I've been driving a lot, listening to L.A. radio, and I did not know that 90% of L.A. radio is just sublime. I had no idea, but I like it. I found that I have a favorite sublime song. It's the song where the sublime guy goes, uh, I can play a guitar like a mother effing riot, and then just slowly plink plonks on an acoustic guitar, just plink plonk, plink plonk, plink plonk. I was like, that is a riot. (laughs) If your definition of a riot is just one lone seagull trying to get a sandwich out from inside a baby grand piano. (laughs) (laughs) Scared and confused. (laughs) I, uh... I like to do stupid things to strangers because I think it helps make the world a better place. So, guys, here's three fun things you can do today to make the world a better place. One, next time you fart, just yell, nothing but net. (laughs) It's confusing and fun to say. (laughs) Two, Next time you go into a cafe to read a book, right before you open your book, just look up and yell, y'all ready for this? (laughs) And then quietly open your book and start reading. (laughs) Number three, you won't see the effects of this, but you'll know you did an awesome thing. Go to Facebook, find a stranger, go like a year back in their photos and just like one photo. (laughs) Keep them guessing for hours. Who is this? And why do they like this picture of me eating pizza? (laughs) I like to do weird things like that, maybe because of the way I was raised. I I, I don't mean to disturb you, but I now have to tell you three true facts about myself, Kurt Brownoller. Fact number one, I breastfed until I was five years old. Five! Deal with that! Look at me and know that's true. Five. That's some Game of Thrones shit, y'all. Five! I have a specific memory of breastfeeding and watching TV and asking my mom to change a channel because I was bored. Five. I didn't know it was weird until I started telling people. But also, I'm six foot four and I never get sick. Fact number two. My best friend from ages five to 10 had Tourette's and I had no idea. He moved away at age 10 and after he left, my mom was like, you know, Mike had Tourette's. I was like, what's that? She's like, watch this video. I was like, oh, somebody should have told me. Cause I've just been mimicking him back to himself all the time. I thought it was our fun way of chatting with each other. I'd just be like, yeah. Okay, and then agree with him again and hit him. (laughs) Third fact. I started smoking when I was 10 years old. What up, Jersey? (laughs) 10. Five years after I stopped breastfeeding, (laughs) I started smoking. And the entire time in between, I was pretending like I had Tourette's. That's how you make this soup. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Kurt. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. That was great. Awesome. Thank you.